yes what up this is kundai and today i'm gonna give you seven things that you need to make sure that you give up on if you really want to make it in life so let's get right into it welcome back to this channel if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications icon so that you will not miss anything so number one you need to give up on toxic people yes in life i believe most people you understand what i'm talking about there are people who are toxic in life there are people who are always trying to make sure that whatever you try to do as long as it has got something to do with you making progress they will make sure they discourage you they have got negative energy they are always negative in life these people are toxic they are going to make sure that you don't go anywhere in life as long as you are are in the comfort zone together they are okay with you but once you begin to make decisions that has got to do with you getting a certain advantage over them in life they'll try as much as they can to uh, push you down to push you so that you don't do those things so these people are negative people you have to make sure you give up on them a great one a great man uh, once told me once said this um, there are people that you need to mark and avoid these people are the people who are negative, the people who bring negative value, negative vibes, negative energy in your life. What you need to do is you make sure that you uh, mark them and then you avoid them. I'm not talking about hating them, but I'm just saying you mark them, as in you identify them and then you avoid them. So these are the people. This is the first thing. If you want to make progress in life, you have to make sure that you get rid of those people in your life so that you make progress. Then number two, you need to give up the need to be liked. Yes, I know we are living in a world of social media where every time you post something, you expect people to like it and, you know, share it and all those things. It's a good thing. But when it comes to life, if you really, real life, if you really want to make progress in life, you have to give up the need to be liked. Because whatever you do under the sun, anything that you try to do, you have to understand that there are people who will not approve of whatever you want to do, whatever you are trying to do. So there are people who are always trying to make sure that they don't approve anything that you're trying to do so you have to give up the need to be like i remember when i first started the youtube channel uh i was asking myself is there going to be someone who's going to like everything that i'm going to be posting but one thing uh that i was told by one of my mentors is that you have to understand people will always you will always have people who are not going to be approving of whatever you are trying to do so give up the need to be liked Sometimes you're going to do things that people are not going to like, but even though they don't like it, you're still going to make progress. So for you to make progress, for you to go on with life, for you to keep going strong, you have to make sure you give up on people who are, you have to give up on the need to be liked because people will always be people. Then number three, you need to give up the need to control everything. You see, uh, I know some people who are always trying to make sure that uh, they are in control of everything under the sun. They try to control everything in their life. You have to understand some things. There are things that are up to us, right? This is the reality of life. There are things that are up to us, and then there are some things which are not up to us. There are things that we cannot control. For example, like I said in the previous one, uh, you need to give up the need to be liked. You cannot control people. You cannot, like, make them to like you you can't do that so these are some of the things some of the things that you need to understand that you cannot control but there are some things that you can't control for example you can control your income you can control the amount of money that you make each and every month yes i understand you can say yes my boss doesn't want to uh, give me a salary increase yes it's yeah that's okay those are some of the things that you cannot control either but there are some things that you can do for you to get more money like starting a business these are some things that you can do so you need to understand that some things you cannot control, some things you can control. So what you need to do is uh, identify the things that you can control and do something about them. Because when it comes to life, most of the things that we uh, feel we cannot control, we will be able to control them. It will all come back to issue of uh, you making a decision to change your life. Right? So uh, you need to give up the need to control everything identify the things that you can control and then you let go of the things that you cannot control number four you need to give up the need to be perfect 
Yes, I understand. Uh, we have to try as much as you can to do things the right way. We have to try as much as you can to do the best in everything that we do in life. Yes, even biblically, we have to try as much as you can to do things, you know, uh, to try to do the best we can. Yes, but you have to understand that as a human being, you can never be perfect. You are a human being. So you need to understand one thing. You are already good enough. If you're, if you're trying to start a business, if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, do not wait until everything is okay, right? Because you are not going to get a time where everything is going to be okay. You have to understand that you have to start. And when you start, you're going to learn as you go. Just like what most of us do. We started these things. Everything that we start, we don't start perfectly. So what we do is we use what we have. We do what we can. And then we start uh, making progress in life. So if you want to make progress in life, you have to make sure that you understand this thing. Give up the need to be perfect. Just do what you can. And then you learn as you go. Number five. You have to give up the, uh, the belief. This one is a belief. Give up the belief of overnight success. I know some people uh, who believe in some, you know, miracle that's going to happen. And then they are going to miraculously uh, start driving Bentleys and, you know, owning houses and cars and, and maybe worth millions of dollars. It's very possible. Personally, I believe in miracles. I believe God can do things. I believe things can just happen just like that i know it doesn't take god ages for him to change your life yes it's very possible but you need to understand one thing even steve steve jobs even bill gates they didn't just start by being you know billionaires right it's a process success is a process you have to understand there's a process that you need to go through for you to make it in life so do not give yourself do not try to believe this do not believe this that, that's one thing that you need to understand. You need to give up the belief of overnight success. Success is a process. You have to go through the process. You have to do what has to be done. If you check here on my YouTube channel, uh, when I started, I actually never thought I was going to get 100 subscribers. But when I started, I had zero subscribers. Right? So if you see people who have got 20 million subscribers, 100 million subscribers, they have started from somewhere. So you need to understand these things. There is no overnight success. There is no overnight success. I know some people who believe that uh, one day they are going to win the lottery or something like that. If you, if you think like that, you are probably never going to get those millions or the money or the success that you are looking for. You might probably never get it. If you are waiting for a miracle, you might wait forever and ever. Right? So... You have to understand, you have to go through the process. Because when you go through the process, by the time you become successful, you have learned a lot. Imagine starting a YouTube channel, you've got 100,000 uh, subscribers. How do you know how, uh, how, do you, how will you know the process of uh, starting from a zero subscribers until you get 1,000 subscribers, until you get 5,000 subscribers? Something like that. I'm just trying to give an example for YouTube because right now you're watching this video. You're probably watching this video on YouTube or on Facebook. Maybe getting 1,000 likes is it's, it's a process that you have to go through and learning. It's a learning curve. So it's very important for you to understand that you can never be successful just like that. There's a process that you have to go through. And it's good for you. It is good for you to go through the process. Because as you'll be going through the process, when you finish the process, you will be a different person altogether. So trust the process and go through it. Do not believe in overnight success. Because it doesn't happen. Number six, you have to give up on playing small. Yes, so many people think playing small is being humble. But you have to understand one thing. You can be very humble and driving a Bentley. You can be very proud and not even have $20 in your account. So you have to understand, being humble has got nothing to do with what is in your account or the success that you have. You can be having 500,000 followers on Instagram, but still be humble and have 1,000 followers on Instagram and be very proud. So being humble uh, it's got nothing to do with how you think. So the idea here is you have to give up on playing small. You should not play small. You should think big. You need to understand one thing. When it comes to success, you can never be more than success. You can never be successful more than or outgrow 
the way you think. It all comes back to how you think. It all comes back to your mindset. So you have to think big, dream big. When you dream big, that's how you'll be able to achieve bigger things. It is said that uh, the things that you think about, that you constantly think about, these things will be attracted to you. You can never outgrow your dreams. You can never outgrow what you think, right? So you have to think big, see big things, expect big things. That's how you can make progress in life. That's how you can grow. Right, then the last one, but this is not the least one. You have to give up an unhealthy lifestyle. I know so many people who don't even care about their body. You know, when it is in summer, like recently, I have heard um, some, some authorities, some people who understand about how the weather is like, they were talking about how you need to make sure that you drink a lot of water because the times that we are in, it's very hot. So your body will need water. And I've heard some people saying, ah, I don't like drinking water. I just drink water when I am maybe drinking tea or drinking some, you know, some drinks, you know. Uh, I don't drink water. I don't like drinking water. But you are doing something that is not good for your body. Right now, you might think, yes, I'm okay. I'm feeling good. But if you don't do something to take care of that body, just like a car, a car, whether it's not okay or it's damaged or it needs to be repaired or it doesn't need to be repaired it has to be serviced just like your body you need to make sure that you eat right right when you eat right you do exercises and do all the things that you need to make sure that your body is in good in good condition if you take care of this body this body is going to take care of you because this is your house this is the place where you live in you live in your body so you have to make sure you take care of the body Whenever you feel something that is not right, you make sure you do something so that you get it to be okay.